Speech Kids! Speech Kids! Every single week, Amy and I will be competing in one event of our choosing, and this day, it is going to be original oratory in cold cuts. Woo! I'm gonna get some cold cuts today! All people got no reason to live. In 1977, Randy Newman released the hit song, Short People, in which he asserts, short people got no reason to live. This blatant example of heightism has permeated American culture, leading to generations of discrimination against those who are vertically challenged. However, Randy Newman got it wrong. In fact, it is tall people who have no reason to live. In this speech, I will first outline why short people are in fact amazing, then I will unpack why tall people are the worst, and last, I will lay out a solution to this sky-high problem. First, short people are the bee's knees. The first piece of evidence for the supremacy of the diminutive is that short people live longer. In 2014, the University of Hawaii at Manoa published a study conducted on a group of Japanese men that found, quote, shorter men are more likely to have a protective form of the longevity gene, FOXO3, leading to smaller body size during early development and a longer lifespan. Shorter men are also more likely to have lower blood insulin levels and less cancer, end quote. Additionally, short people are better athletes. According to the BBC, quote, it takes less time for a nerve impulse to travel the length of their limbs to their brains, meaning that their reaction time should be quicker and they may be more nimble, which might help certain martial artists like Jackie Chan. It also is also more cumbersome to bend and twist a taller body, whereas smaller people can achieve greater rotational acceleration, meaning that they excel in gymnastics, snowboarding, skating, skiing, and diving. The BBC also notes that tall people are 20% clumsier than their shorter counterparts, due in part to a high center of gravity. Therefore, the short of stature are superior because of their cat-like reflexes and longevity. Now that I've proven why short people are awesome, I will discuss why tall people are the worst. For this, there is only one piece of evidence that is necessary, and it just so happens that this piece of evidence is in this Zoom right now. Robert Bruce Herrick. Robert Bruce Herrick is the worst. From his stupid face, to his dumb beard, to the ridiculous way that he shakes when he laughs really hard. See, there he goes. Robert Bruce Herrick is the worst of humanity. And as he is sitting down, and those of you listening to this podcast can't see his ugly mug at this moment to know this, Robert Bruce Herrick is six feet, four inches tall. He is stupidly tall, ridiculously tall. Why the hell does anyone have to be that tall? The only thing that Robert Bruce Herrick is good for is getting dishes off the top shelf in the kitchen. And even then, he usually gets the wrong one because he doesn't understand the differences between a platter and a plate. I mean, come on, Rob. It's not that hard. Robert Bruce Herrick is simply the worst. And therefore, all tall people are also the worst. Now that I have shown you that short people are far superior to tall people, I would like to propose a solution. Eugenics. <laughs> Let's selectively breed the tallness out of society. I mean, what could go, what could go wrong? That sounds like a great idea, right? Thank you. Speech Kids! 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 Speech Kids!